Hello friends, as we have seen in our earlier videos that a real number k is 0 of a polynomial px if that value of the polynomial is 0 for x equal to k. We also learned in our previous video how to plot a graph from a linear polynomial and how to find the 0 of the polynomial from that graph. In this video we will learn how to do the same for a quadratic polynomial. Let us take an example of a quadratic polynomial which is of degree 2. Say x square minus 3x plus 2. Now the graph of this polynomial won't be a linear graph, a straight line. So we would need much more than two points to draw the graph. Let us represent this polynomial as an equation y is equal to x square minus 3x plus 2. Let us take few different values of x and try to find y. When x equal to 0, the value of polynomial will be equal to 0 square minus 3 into 0 plus 2 which is equal to 2. So x equal to 0, y is equal to 2. Same way, when x equal to 1, y is equal to 0. Wow, we found up the 0 of a polynomial. When x equal to minus 1, y is equal to 6 x equal to 2, y equal to 0, x equal to minus 2, y is equal to 12, x equal to 3, y is equal to 2, and x equal to 4, y is equal to 6. You can keep replacing the values of x and find the value of y. Now let us draw the graph using these coordinates of x and y. Look, the graph looks like a U shape. And you will notice it intersects the x-axis at two places. Point x equal to 1, y is equal to 0. And point x equal to 2, y is equal to 0. These are the two points where it meets the x-axis, that is y is equal to 0. And these two values of x, that is 1 and 2, are the 0 of this quadratic polynomial. In fact, the graph of any quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c where a is not 0 would give this kind of graph. This shape is called parabola. Now, does all quadratic polynomials have two zeros? Let's take another example, x square minus 2x plus 1. If we draw the graph of this polynomial using the same method we explained earlier, like taking different values of x and finding the value of y, it would look like a u-shape and it will be touching the x-axis at point x equal to 1. It, and it touches the axis, axis at only one point. It means this quadratic polynomial x square minus 2x plus 1 has only one zero. But you would never find a quadratic polynomial which has more than two zeros. That is, quadratic polynomials will always have less than or equal to two zeros. But does all quadratic polynomials have zeros? For example, 6x square plus 5x plus 7. If you draw the graph of this polynomial, you would see that it would never ever intersect at x-axis. That is, no value of x makes y is equal to 0. The lowest point of this graph is also above the x-axis. Means, this polynomial has no 0. So, we can say quadratic polynomials will have less than or equal to two zeros. But they will never have more than two zeros. Now, imagine if you were not knowing it, you would waste your time in an effort to find it 0. But by just drawing a graph, gave you the information that it has no zero at all. So drawing graphs of a polynomial are very useful. We will learn about finding the zero of a cubic polynomial that is degree 3 in the next video. Till then, bye bye.